Hello, this is Fred Lears of Health Products Distributors, and today we're talking about one of our products known as Vitamin D3 Plus. This is the bottle of Vitamin D3 Plus. It's the new label with the sun shining. This is really one of my favorite all-time Vitamin D products, and um, it's, a, it's one of our better selling products. I also wanted to show you the actual capsule, so I'm gonna pick one out of this little cup and show they're very small. See, that's really pretty tiny. So the first thing I want to say is that uh, this product contains vitamin D3, which is the natural form of, of vitamin D. This means that what you get in the capsule is the same thing your body produces when you get sunshine, which is how in nature we produce our vitamin D. And it contains 5,000 IU of vitamin D3 per capsule, which is a good good amount, a good dose, but um, it's become well known that you that's a, a good amount to take daily or certainly uh, weekly, multiple times a week, uh, especially in the winter because um, most people don't have enough vitamin D and it's a vitamin that many, many people are deficient in and you need to have a, a high dose. This really isn't that high of a dose, but you need to have a 5,000 IUs um, or more daily or at least multiple times a week, especially in the winter, to obtain the amount of vitamin D um, that you need to be healthy. Um, and then in a little while I'll explain there's a, a, there are certain populations and groups of people um, that actually require more for various reasons. Now another thing that makes this vitamin D3 plus product so good is that it is a synergistic formula providing not just vitamin D3 but also vitamin A and vitamin K2. Um, these are critical nutrients um, that work in a balanced fashion to enable your body to use the vitamin D that you are giving it. Um, you, vitamin A and vitamin D are synergistic nutrients and if you have don't have enough vitamin A, the vitamin D cannot be utilized as effectively. Um, and of course, if you have too much vitamin A by itself and not enough vitamin D, then that's actually bad for you. And for example, can make your bones weak. So we include a thousand IU of vitamin A uh, derived from um, highly purified and molecularly distilled fish oils, um, as well as the vitamin D3, which is also from, from fish oil. Now, the other nutrient uh, contained in this synergistic vitamin D3 plus product is vitamin K2 um, from menaquinone 7. And this is an excellent form of vitamin K2. And you also need vitamin K2. It's critical to be able to utilize vitamin D. And um, if you do not have um, vitamin K2, um, then you cannot use vitamin D effectively. So uh, we put in the most effective form of vitamin uh, K2 from menaquinone 7. And this is a critical nutrient and it only has 10 micrograms of vitamin K2. So it's not gonna be too much, but it is enough um, to make this synergistic product work now I also wanted to cover um, a small list of the benefits of vitamin D3. You can find this information in many different places, but I just wanted to sort of hit the highlights of why vitamin D3 is so important and just some of the things that it can do for you. So um, basically a list of benefits. And so some of the benefits of vitamin D3 include um, stronger bones, enhanced immunity, um, protection from autoimmune diseases, that goes with sort of the immunity um, benefit. Um, improved blood sugar control. Um, normalized blood pressure. Um, protection against flu. Um, improved balance. And the list just goes on and on. I'll just hit a few more. Um, improved mood. Reduction of chronic pain. Improved dental health which kind of goes with the, uh, in, with the bone health. Um, improved muscle strength. Um, 
prevention of birth defects, improved prostate health, better bowel health, um, support for individuals with multiple sclerosis, um, and reduced symptoms of PMS. And this is just sort of scratching the surface because there's there's many there's many that sort of go along with those that I could delve into and spend a long time covering. But the point is is that vitamin D3 is so important for overall health. So you say, well, what do all these things have in common? And well, it basically goes to show you that without sufficient levels of vitamin D3, so many things can go wrong and the body has a critical need for many different systems in the body um, for vitamin D3. And so maybe stronger bones is the obvious, but the immune function thing is really critical as well. Um, and so um, different people will might, might take vitamin D for different things, for different issues that they may think they have or they might have, but really everyone should probably be taking this because it's just one of those just one of those nutrients that everybody really really needs and the statistics show that many 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 people could be half the population or more depending on the time of year um, are deficient in vitamin uh, D and you know it doesn't help that people are in sun avoidance mode slathering themselves in sunblocks never going out in the sun, avoiding the sun. And so how are you supposed to uh, get your vitamin D, which is made in your skin from sun exposure? Well, vitamin D3 plus in a capsule form is perhaps one answer to that, but that doesn't mean people should completely avoid the sun because if you're even if you're going out in the sun you can probably still use this but in the winter time there's not so much sun available now i also want to talk about several groups of people who have greater than average need for vitamin d3 um that could benefit from a product like this especially if they're not getting enough sunshine and even if they are depending on the group um the first group that I'd like to talk about briefly is uh, pregnant and lactating women need more vitamin D. Um, they have higher needs. Human breast milk contains very little vitamin D and studies show that lactating women um, must take four to 6,000 IU daily to ensure adequate vitamin D transfers into breast milk to satisfy an infant's requirements. Um, so pregnant and lactating women definitively uh, should supplement with with a product like vitamin D3+. Plus. Um, another group of people who are particularly needy, needful of vitamin D, are obese individuals. Uh, studies show that obese individuals require two to five times more vitamin D to treat and prevent vitamin D deficiency. That's not to talk about optimal intakes even. And the reason is, is because uh, fat can sequester vitamin D. So they may get sunshine and they may even take vitamin D, but that vitamin D can be sequestered in the fatty tissues. And if it's sequestered in the fatty tissues and it's not going to be available to the body for all the uses that we've talked about and all the benefits. So um, uh, given the dramatic rise in obesity rates in the United States and the world, um, as well as obesity throughout the population, including children, um, this makes the importance of taking vitamin D3 even more important. Um, now, ideally, obese people, you know, long term lose some weight, um, but in the short term, in the immediate term, they should be taking a vitamin D3 supplement um, to make sure that they're obtaining sufficient vitamin D3. Um, another group is the elderly. Older people, as you age, the skin simply does not absorb vitamin D from the sun, doesn't make as much vitamin D, doesn't absorb the sunlight, it doesn't process and convert the same way it would in a young person. And it gets to the point as we age that when, by the time you're in your, say, your mid to late 70s or early 80s, 
uh, the skin's capacity can decrease by two thirds in its ability to um, produce vitamin D3. So sun exposure will not have the same effects in older people. And it takes more and more sun, and you know you reach a point where you know you, you can't just be sitting in the sun all the time. So perhaps of all the groups, um, the elderly um, should should be taking vitamin D3. Um, simply because they just can't produce it any other way at some point in sufficient quantity. Um, and of course they have special needs with regards to their bones and connective tissues. So all the more reason. And finally, and perhaps most obviously, are people with very dark skin. So people with dark skin of various tones, um, the, uh, the darker it is, then um, it absorbs less UV radiation. It, in fact, dark skin is protective against UV radiation, but UV radiation is what helps the skin produce the vitamin D3. And so what, what, what is a protective mechanism becomes a mechanism that um, prevents the vitamin D3 from being produced, um, especially in the northern latitudes. Um, you're just not going to get enough, especially in the winter. So for dark-skinned people, um, they should be aware that taking a supplement like vitamin D3+, plus, making sure you get enough vitamin D, is critically important. So that is vitamin D3+. Plus. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, you can, uh, you can give it a thumbs up or give it a like. You can also read more on our blog, www.integratedhealthblog.com. And you can also find more information and purchase the product on www.integratedhealth.com. This has been Fred Lears and another Creating Health Naturally video, and we'll see you next time.